Hi guys, it's Crypto Insta here. Um, today we're going to do the, another video for upcoming weeks technical analysis. And um, let's see, we'll start with the gold first. So as you can see, there is some very uh, <clears throat> interesting and uneven price action uh, in gold that happened last week. It went potentially that jump all the way up there was on um, Friday, late Friday. Uh, I know some of you took advantage of that jump and then it dropped back down. Uh, but as you can see, my um, the moving averages, it's below the green candles now. Um, so it looks like, you know, maybe with a little bit of a drop up till here, around about uh, 2 to 1, 2 to 0, it has formed a base here and potentially it will continue to go up and I think the next stop as far as what I can see uh, roughly will be about 1260 at this area here uh, as you can see this is potentially pointing upwards in MACD um, also RSI is roughly around <clears throat> 47 uh, this, this needs to go above 50 for it to become uh, remain bullish uh, and also the change of direction here has occurred as well with the massive price rejection at this level. So we just need to keep an eye on it, see how it goes. Potentially, I'm expecting a drop here on Monday. So potentially, probably will be coming into like 2.30 to uh, 2.25 region, 1.225 region, and then may potentially go back up from there. So yeah, definitely there is some sort of a you know some sort of a support at one two two zero and then potentially you may move back up again uh, so we just need to keep an eye on it uh, trade as part the direction of the market don't go against the trend uh, sometimes it, it can be easily caught out if you go against the trend so just be careful <clears throat> and just make sure that you are on the right hand side of the market if the market is open currently uh, it's already started trading, so I'm I'm doing a late video this time. Uh, so yeah, that's gold analysis for this time. Just keep an eye on it, let it drop a little bit, and then enter it. If you if it drops roughly around one two two five region, uh, a one two two zero region, then enter the buy orders, and then we can take it back up. Otherwise, I mean, we can wait for it uh, around. Um, no, 1225 region first of all so let's see how it behaves um, today on Monday especially when the market starts forming the new trend so just keep an eye on it and uh, don't jump in too quickly and uh, that's US gold for the upcoming week so next one we're gonna go for I'm gonna look at the US um, dollar index very interesting pattern happening here as well. Uh, it actually went back up, even though we had this three um, bearish sign here uh, with three straight weeks, but the price action took it up and it created a week again. So pretty much correlated with where the current price is. Uh, again, I'm looking at the weekly charts here, guys. Also, if you have a look at what's happening in MACD, it's converged again, the second or third time it's converged. Potentially it might go up a little bit and then come down again here. It's a situation where it's coming down to 63 in RSI. Potentially we might go up a little bit and then and then reverse. So keep an eye on the dollar index and trade accordingly. Uh, if you guys are looking, uh, looking at dollar index a lot. Uh, <clears throat> Or if this momentum continues, uh, then next stop will be around, uh, roughly about 98. Um, and that will be uh, something really, really um, big because obviously, as you know, the rest of the currencies have already dropped quite a lot last week. So the further drops will definitely come into the buy zones. So that's dollar index. Um, so let's start with Aussie USD. Uh, some very interesting um, scenario here for Aussie dollar. Uh, as you can see, that these two are about to converge. Here, this one is still roughly about, the RSI is still hovering between 30 and 35. 
So we just need to keep an eye on it. <clears throat> There's some news come out. So we need to watch the news and see what the news comes back with. As you can see, it actually did a um, hammer candle, although it's a wrapped candle, but as you can clearly see, the hammer candle was formed uh, last week. Again, guys, I'm looking at the weekly chart. I'm expecting it to go up from here at least to 1700, from at this level. As you guys can see, there is a support at this level as well because it went back, price went back up from here. So I'm expecting it this to drop a little bit and then potentially might go up as well. Um, if he does another hammer uh, like this this week, then definitely that's going to be a sign that it's about to reverse from here. As you can see, my red line <clears throat> now has come. Um, all the moving averages are now coming below the the price action. Um, so that potentially showing us that you know this will reverse. So um, I would like to. I've I've taken an order at. Um, at roughly around, uh, roughly around 070500 region. Um, I'm waiting for it to have a little bit of a pullback and then enter it to maximize my entry. Uh, roughly around this region here, uh, 070500. As you can see, there's a strong support at this region. Price has gone back up from here. So I'm expecting if this drops on Monday, then we can go in. Uh, at 070500, take a buy order from here. Potentially, we're looking at an easily 100 pips from here. So, that's going to be a long term goal. <clears throat> Again, the RSI is hovering around 32, 33. It may potentially drop, hits 25 or 20, and then you'll potentially go up again. And as you can see, MACD is very close to converging. And everything is now pointing to Australian dollar going up from here. Um, you will also follow if the gold price goes up, then Australian dollar will also go up as well, along with it, because it's a commodity currency. So we just want to ensure and we watch the market closely. Um, that's Aussie dollar for you. Uh, next one is New Zealand USD, Kiwi USD. Again, the price action here it's very interesting, as you can see. Uh, MACD has converged, potential to go up. Price action here. Again, this is slightly negative. So I will wait for it to drop around this region, 0 0.64, 500 region, before I take a further uh, going up. If you look at the um, daily charts, then we will see that there is some sort of price rejection happened at this level on Friday and then he started moving back up again. But um, I'm not very sure on New Zealand USD. I'll I will watch the action on this one. I potentially want to enter it around 0 0.64500 region. That's where the, our uh, buying point is and then allow it to go up and then at least hit the nearest resistance, which is 0 0.65. 500 so that will be another like 100 pips that's what i want to do um so i'm gonna go in and take an order for it so new order change it to new zealand New Zealand USD 0 0.2. I'm gonna take a pending order by limit, and I'm gonna uh, I'm planning to enter roughly about uh, six four five hundred region. Take profit around six five six five five hundred region. I'm not gonna enter the stop loss at this point, um, and I'm gonna place the order. So that's been processed. Um, next one, uh, let's concentrate on Euro USD. Uh, again, this is like a very interesting scenario uh, occurring. That's the daily one. So as you can see, it's engulfed the last candle. 
pretty much with the nice green, green candle. And it's starting a, another green one here, but I will wait for it. Uh, potentially there is a you know lot of volatility is gonna come in uh, for euro USD so be careful um, you don't have to trade this currency for timing as you can see it's converged but it's pointing downwards RSI is also also pointing downwards so I'm expecting it to hit 25 and then potentially then go up on a weekly level as you can see we are at very low level at the moment uh, potentially we're looking at Roughly at the lowest point from last week, so 1.3, 1, 1 1.13, 300 region. <coughs> if it comes down at this point, again, the price action is not really great at the moment, so I would not enter. I will avoid Euro USD for time being. We'll monitor it, but we're not going to enter it. If you guys are scalping, uh, make sure you guys enter roughly around 1.13. 1.13 uh, 200 to 1.13 1 300 region to scalp and just get out at um, possibly 1.13 450 or 1.13 500 region. Um, that will be that will be an ultimate one. So yeah, do not do not risk too much on Euro USD. No clear signs at the moment. Looks very very bearish right now to me. Potential that it will go down before it comes back up. So wait for it be on the right side of the market and then you can you can keep trading as we did last week with the um, UCHF and um, Aussie dollar we actually did very well by actually trading in the right side of the markets all our uh, trades hit the TPs so that was great so I'm planning to do the exact the same thing again this week as well so watch the space watch the alerts coming in onto our telegram channel I'll put more. I'll put more, and as and when I see. So some of them will be scalping. Some of them will be long term. So keep an eye on it. And yes, uh, if you guys have one k accounts, then please use zero point two. Uh, reduce your leverage from from one to five hundred, uh, as I've done to one to two hundred, which will be give you better uh, risk management, and you can play it better as well. Uh, yes, it will take slightly longer to reach the targets, but that will help you. Uh, in long term, just in case if something goes wrong, then you're fully covered in your account and we can easily recover the losses if there are any at that point. So, yes, reduce your leverage. That will be a great starting point. The guys with the bigger accounts, doesn't really matter. You guys can use the 500. You guys can use the um, one lots or two lots or whatever you guys can uh, afford and, you know, control your risk management. That's the key. Um, and um, we'll have a good week again. So that's Euro USD. Uh, next one is GBP uh, USD. Again, I'm trying to avoid this one as well. On a weekly basis, as you can see, there is pretty much no direction. I mean, we have seen that this are so many. There are so many um, <clears throat> weeks here, and and definitely a potential drop. <clears throat> from here as you can see the price again was rejected maybe it will come down to this point this level here or around this level here 127 1, 1 1.127 region or potentially it may continue to go up because I mean this is a big candle drop and potentially this will again reverse back depending upon you know the brexit situation it's very critical right now and also um, the negotiations with Europe, it's at a critical point. So just keep an eye on it, watch it, see how it reacts. And based on that, take make your judgment. Uh, I'm not going to rush to take trades on GBP USD. If you have a look at the, the chart, I mean, there is a long way to go from here. As you can see, you can, you can easily drop to one point. Uh, 1.26 as well as you can see there is there is there's a support level at this region but we have to watch it very carefully um, before taking any trades um, so yeah uh, another currency pair to avoid um, depending upon if you guys are trading at a very um, if you guys are doing scalping then most probably take get in and get out within 
say probably an hour maximum. If he goes against you, then you guys can use the stop losses and, and close your positions uh, as and when required. <clears throat> So next currency pair are we going to look at is USD CAD. As you guys can see, I mean, this is pretty much very, very good price action going on here. As you can see, this is currently converging again. But what I'm expecting from here is probably it will reach again the same region at uh, roughly around 1.32 level here. Um, before it drops back, as you can see, is a very strong resistance point here. I'm be looking at the weekly chart, so I won't be surprised if this one comes all the way up to 132 region um, or even higher. Um, so we have we have two pretty much two entry points for ourselves. Um, one is here, and one is roughly around at this region, 132 maybe 300 and one one three one point three three five hundred max um the next region i'm expecting at least to hit here at 1.32 and then reverse back downwards as you can see um the candles are pretty much showing us that yes it's trying to go up as as per the dollar index uh, also becoming stronger, but um, Canadian is, is performing well against the USD. Here again, we have a very straight, flat straight line, which is over 50, so that means you potentially the price will go up. Everything is pointing for it to go upwards, so let's keep an eye on it. Let's see how it behaves. Maybe we can enter an order roughly around this region, actually, 1, 3, 2, 200 would be an ideal region for us as well. <clears throat> And see what happens next um, so yeah USD Canadian also a great opportunity coming in uh, but mainly right now it's the commodities currencies that we should concentrate like Aussie uh, Kiwi and potentially this one as well um, we should avoid euro USD and GBP USD too much volatility there is no micro market direction so let's just avoid those for time being uh, and the final currency pair that I'm looking at right now is the our favorite USD CHF. Last week it was a great week for us. Uh, made really good money on it. As you can see, it created a inverted hammer. And what I'm expecting next, as you can see, there's a lots and loads of. Um, if you look at the trend line here, we have loads and loads of. Pretty much a lot of um, resistance points at this uh, at this area, um, and as you can see, the price has dropped from here so many times. Uh, pretty much, again, there's a massive price rejection around 1.00300 to 90 region. Um, assuming that dollar doesn't become stronger here, I'm expecting it to go back up again, roughly at that price, and then drop it again. Uh, on the weekly uh, weekly chart, um, if I look at the um, daily chart again on this one, uh, as you can see, it's already started doing that. It's got the weeks coming up. It's got this red bar um, coming in. As you can see, it's already linking to, and the, and the volumes are dropping. This is already over, you know, roughly about nearly seventy. So most potentially, I'm expecting a price drop from here. And roughly, we're looking at around 0 0.9 Ryan region. But I would let it come back up. Um, and the idea is that we should get it around 1.00200. So I'm going to enter an order <clears throat> on that one. Uh, USD CHF. USD CHF. USD CHF. There you go. Again, we're gonna enter it. Pending order. Price one point zero zero two hundred. That's that's my price. Take profit. I'm gonna take roughly around zero point nine nine. Let's say two hundred. Right. 
no, I'm not going to put a step loss again. Uh, do your own judgment. Uh, make your own uh, risk management because you guys know what your account, the, the sizes of your accounts and the amounts that you guys are trading. So I will leave that for you guys to decide whether you want to have 50 pips or 100 pips. It's entirely up to you guys. Um, most probably you guys should look at uh, 1.00700 for 50 pips and you know two to one risk ratio we're looking at here so i'm going to place that order as well uh okay that's interesting so i've entered the price correctly uh oh right yeah so it's a sale limit and then i'm going to place the order so we should be good and next one so pretty much i'm expecting it to go up slightly and then drop down so we will hit one of these regions here and then it will drop down again. A very interesting price action here, as you can see on daily charts, definitely getting ready to drop. Weekly, again, it's getting ready to drop, so we have a really good resistance area uh, at this at this level, um, and price action will also pointing to the same thing, so potentially we will have a very good entry points if it reaches our target of our limit order. And finally, USD JPY. Um, again, this one is very interesting price action happening here. It's already made its move from 114.32. Again, the candle on a weekly chart, it's engulfed the green candle. So I'm expecting this to go up a little bit, maybe at 112.500 and then drop it down, downwards going this way. Um, the direction will be downwards from here. Uh, again here are both converged so we should we should be watching um, we should be watching the price action and see what happens um, not too keen into entering in USD JPY as well um, just just we will keep an eye on the on, on the price action if we suddenly the price goes up in a big way then we should think of shorting it if not then we will continue to watch it and other currency that I would like to cover is usually cash CHF. Um, as you can see, a massive price drop from around 0.77 region. Uh, again, it's trying to, I'm expecting this to, this to, to converge again. Uh, potentially this may go up a little bit of the same region and then drop from there. So just keep an eye on it. Um, I would I will send a signal if I see a good entry point at the moment. I'm in a not sure territory right now on the weekly basis on a daily chart worth having a look again the price action is pretty much as you can see this is pointing to coming downwards so I'm expecting it to drop uh, but I'm waiting for it to go up slightly and before it drops and then see what happens uh, most probably around this region, 0 0.75500 region, if it drops, as you can see, um, easy drop from there on. So potentially we can have a, um, you know, 100 pips here if we let it go up a little bit and then enter it. So something to keep an eye on. Okay, guys, this is the analysis for next upcoming week. Um, trade carefully, do your risk management. And um, if you guys are scalping, then make sure that you guys don't stay in the, in the trades for too long. Um, and, you know, make sure that you guys are looking at the lower time frames. And, yeah, pretty much uh, supply and demand is the key uh, for, our, for the price action. So just be, just be watchful. Uh, there's a lot going to happen in the market. Uh, also depends upon the equity side of things. Um, equity indexes have been dropping. So S&P 500, um, we can have a quick look at that one. S&P 500. As you can see here, it's a very interesting um, scenario developing if i look at the daily chart as you can see a massive drop from where it was again it's dropping and dropping quite big um so we just have to keep an eye on it if the equity markets continue to drop and and the volatility continue to be in the in the equity market then definitely the gold price will be going up so keep an eye on that as well 
Um, so SMPX, we also have to look at the Dow Jones and you know, NASDAQ. They all are uh, trading in the same side of things. As you can see here, it's roughly about under 30. Potential to go up, prices dropping, as you can see. Um, very, very uneven in the market right now. As you can see, the price action was pretty much confirming. As you can, as you can see, at all four sides have dropped at the same time, and all indicators pointed to the same drop. We actually missed this one. Um, you know, I, I was too much concentrating on on the currencies and gold side of things. We potentially like missed a massive amount of of drop, massive amount of money from here. People have taken it. Um, this was a clear signal or uh, sell signal. As you can see, every indicator pointed going downwards on a weekly chart. So a weekly chart is pretty accurate for um, for indexes as well. Um, a similar scenario for Dow, um, DGI industrials, very, very similar situation. Uh, exactly the same as you can see pretty much. 875 drop down. Uh, again, as you can see, it's... It's done the same thing at this same region. It came in about 26 and a half thousand and it dropped. Um, so potentially this will continue to go down. I'm expecting it to go down further. So we just have to watch the, the price action and see how it goes. That's pretty much it guys for this week. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it and see you next week.